So the calendar method was introduced to me by Greg Knuckles during a seminar at War Horse Barbell Club in, in Philadelphia. So I've been using this method with many, many of my online clients as well as myself, and I think it's an awesome tool to take advantage to help reach your goals due to its simplicity and effectiveness. So if you look at the top of the page, like these are my goals, I need you to replace them with your own. And if you did it, you place an X by it. And at the end of the week, you need to add up all your X's out of 28. And that's going to basically tell you, are you taking a step forward towards reaching your three month or one year goal? Or are you staying stagnant? Are you taking steps backwards? So a great week would be having 25 to 28 out of 28 X's. So you're, you're being pretty consistent. There's just some days here and there, or maybe some objectives or process goals that you tend to keep kind of slipping on. But overall, you're making steps towards your goal. A good week, 20 to 24 out of 28 X's. So there may be, again, here and there, process goals that maybe are too big. But overall, you're taking steps towards your outcome goals. A poor week for me. So this here would, is going to be below 20 X's out of 28 X's. So and in parentheses there, it says, let's reevaluate. So either your process goals are too large, uh, they're, they're not being done every day because you're not placing it as a priority. So you need to think smaller. So process goals need to be small, something that is pretty easy for you to accomplish each and every day. So my four, four process goals for, for this month of January is, I want to make sure that I'm reaching enough calories. So that there's abbreviated with the C. I have a meet coming up. I want to make sure that when I'm training, I'm feeling fresh, I'm feeling good, I don't feel drained. I want to make sure I read one hour each day of something in my field. So that there's abbreviated with an R. I want to make sure that I'm drinking a gallon of water each day and that there's abbreviated with a W. And I want to make sure that I'm sleeping seven and a half hours, hours a night and that there is just abbreviated with an S. So if you look at the calendar, it says Sunday through Saturday. So each day of the week, I take those abbreviations from above and I just throw them down at the bottom. So you see there's a C, an R, a W, and an S. So each day of the week, you throw those abbreviations under each day. I tend to use Google Calendar to set reminders at night around 9.30 to go in and fill my calendar out. So overall, just a, just a little review, you need to set four process goals, four small process goals that's going to help reach your main outcome goal that you want to reach in three months or a year. Um, they have to be very small and be able to be done each and every single day. If your process goals start becoming a habit, then you can change one of those process goals out and throw it in with something else that you want to work on. So if you guys need help figuring out what your process goals are, where to start, um, methods to achieving or methods to remind you to fill out the calendar method, uh, just feel free to shoot me an email. Um, I'd be more than happy to help you guys learn how to work the calendar and implement it into your life. So give this, give this a try.